What's going on guys, welcome back to another video. So today I wanted to review the Gochur Exceed uh, travel spinning rod. I just brought this to Mexico on my trip there and I was really pleasantly surprised with uh, how well this rod works, uh, especially for the price. My expectations were kind of low because this is an extremely affordable rod. I'll post a link to it in the description below and I'll go over it a little bit for you. So this is a four piece, seven foot spinning rod. It's medium fast action, it's medium power. I thought the power was a little light, you know, it didn't quite compare to some of my one piece inshore spinning rods, but I was still able to land some decent sized fish on it. Um, it's rated for three sixteenth to five eight ounce uh, lower weight, and the line weight recommended is six to 14 pound line. I used eight pound braid with it on my Shimano Nasky uh, 1000. The first thing I noticed about the rod is it looks great. It looks and feels much more expensive than it is. It's got a carbon fiber construction and some pretty high quality uh, ceramic guide inserts and uh, corrosion proof uh, guides themselves and they're pretty tough. Like some guides get very flimsy especially on lighter rods and especially the uh, tip here really strong protecting the, uh, the final guide insert. I also really like this style reel seat. Very easy to use. Any size reel you can fit on here and a really comfortable grip. Overall, I was blown away with this rod. It casted like a missile, uh, felt really good when you had a fish on the end, really smooth. And I'll just show you some footage of casting and uh, reeling in some fish on this rod. 12 pound fluoro liter and a little epoxy jig. There we go, hooked something. Or is that zero mackerel? Might be zero. There we go. There's the hound fish. Finally, ate the epoxy jig. 